Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel with Valentina Kiriko, the beauty astrologist. Today I found a cool spot in the house because I'm going to open and review for you and with you another summer box. This is the Birch Box 2022 box and we are going to see quickly what's inside. Of course, it's empty now. With this color palette, what do you think about? Hmm? So this reminds me of late summer night, you know, the moment when the sun is very, very down and all the warm color turn into this black pot. Like this sky. Well, I was thinking maybe something ready to summer, but no. This is again another box about self-care. Every birch box box is about self-care and love for yourself. Excuse me. It's not the kind of love for yourself. get stuck and now we start from the leaflet to know a little bit more about this box so the name is habits a daily form of self-care so as I said this is another self-care themed box so um, in July Birch Box invited people to start a good habit because studies say that you just need 21 days to make a habit your own habit so uh, it could be anything it could be going out for a walk every day practicing yoga taking care of yourself of course so we're going to see what's inside so the leaflet says that there are well two full size products but we're going to see if it's true and i want to start with good order from the uh, scented um products which is an aromatherapy balm okay let's start from the first product so this is the uh, scented everyday aromatherapy uh, balm stick so this is just a sample size something to have a taste of the product to see if it's a good match for you or with your skin so um, this is uh, a balm with 100 natural origin oils and has notes of uh, grapefruit lemon myrtle and spearmint to me it's more like uh, lime but it's got the same, uh, you know, uh, effect to my nose. I mean, it's a fitzy, citrusy and a bright uh, kind of scent. So um, basically it's easy to use. It comes into a solid balm that you have to rub into your hottest point of your, your skin, meaning those areas where the skin is really thin and you can see uh, the veins. So these are really, really warm uh, areas because there's the blood secreted really close to your surface, of, uh, to the surface of your skin, of course. So if you rub anything, you're going to um, smell it um, easier because the skin is warm. So um, the spots points are uh, your wrist, the temples and the neck. And from my previous experience as a uh, sales representative, I know that also behind your knees is a post point, but I really doubts that you're going to smell this if you buy behind your knees. So um, when I smell it, it really gives me uh, these positive vibes. It energizes me and it really um, improves my mood. So it really makes me feel happy as it, the name says. And I feel like ready to do something great. So uh, I smell this before um, starting something like a kind of walk or like if I feel a little bit bloom it happens so unfortunately uh this doesn't last that long on my skin but it's not really a problem of the product itself it's more my skin not being really friendly with um solid uh perfumes or uh, perfume oils so every time i use this kind of product they last less than 30 minutes and it's the same with this so uh it's more effective when i smell it 
from the stick rather than when apply on my skin so it's such a pity because uh, it does what it says so it's a good aromatherapy product it's really easy to to have and to use and to bring with you wherever you go but actually it doesn't last, last that long on my skin this is such a pity it's more like my skin not being friendly with this product rather than the product with my skin so such a pity but the idea is good i'm sorry so the second product is this um pencil from lord and berry this is the first time that i used this brand and so far so good i found it really really good uh, so a good value for money so this is described as the full size product the first full size product of this box and it's described as unnamed black casual eyeliner um but i'm really sad to say this i've done some research because i wanted to see if it's really a full size product because it's really really small and if it's really a uh, casual so it turns out uh if you turn around you will see the the name of the color is uh 221 travel black and by doing a quick research you'll find out that this is a travel size um the brand called it luxury travel size and it's the um uh, line and shade pencil which is a gel pencil with the same you know finish of a casual or cold so it's actually not the same the product that you expect though the finish is the same it's the same effect of a casual um and the price is also different because in the leaflet we found that it's priced 15 pounds but it's 10 pounds so it would change a little bit what's the you know final feeling of this box unfortunately but let's talk about this product instead so this is a brand that i actually trust because i had other eye products and other lip products and they were great anyway so this is um a pencil with a gel texture but with the same color payoff of a kaja so very very creamy and blendable so we're going to see this thing to to break because it's very very delicate like other casual that i had other gel pencil that i had in the past but especially with casual which are very very creamy and they tend to to melt or to to break so it happens but to you know trace a line and breaking the the points but this is the color it's the blackest back and um, you can do so many things with this kind of pencil for example you can just swap it in your waterline to have like a very mysterious quick look or like you can create uh, uh, with eyeliner that you can also smudge so you can have a smudge eyeliner you can create a smudge version of the satin eye which is very very trendy now on uh, tiktok and instagram or you can also have the base for um a smoky eye or a colored smoky eye for example i use it here and and then i smudge it and apply also some um color that remind me of the box so some uh, pink and some uh, fuchsia that turn into this kind of purple but you can see from kind of distance so um, i also find that that it's not just easy to use and easy to 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 smudge and to blend but it's also easy to to remove which is a which is a pro so in its simplicity is a product that is a it's a good value so it's something that i will anyway have in my in my um, bag uh, in fact i remember that this was a must have for heavy and any kids in the 2000s i remember all my school friends had a black kaja and they were always applying that at the end of the day it was all smudge <laughs> the need so it's like having panda eyes after <laughs> after school but every cool kid had it but it was no cool kid back at the time so but this is something that i do use usually and i will keep using so this is a product that i do really like also the brand that i do like so this was a good pick also for my skin and for my face so i'm happy with this one okay so it's time for the brand discovery for me at least so this is the capria aloe jelly bomb and we're going to see why it's called aloe jelly bomb quite straightforward anyway so this is a female funded brand and this is also a creative free and natural products in fact the product uh, has a very very short ingredient list there are four just four ingredients and the top ingredient is aloe vera so um, this is why that's aloe in the name so jelly because it's a uh, jelly products is the kind of 
uh, runny gel so it's not something that everyone will like including myself unfortunately balm because it's a source of hydration that you can use in many ways so in fact it's a multi-use product that can be used as a day cream a night cream or a face mask so being a 24 hours product is hasn't got any spf so you can use with this during the night but during the day you absolutely need uh your your fairy filter because you have to be always careful no matter the type of season or the month so this is at your own spot uh, now we're going to see how it works with my skin so actually it just it just do the job but it's not very comfortable my skin so i have to keep patting 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 until if he's the may be well absorbed but not always in fact mm, i have combination skin and my dry areas are my cheeks around my nose and my lips but this area needs hydration but they don't really like all kind of gels especially those that feel very sticky and runny so even if i keep patting the product on my skin it seems to you know sit on the top of my skin so like a sort of film without giving so much hydration sometimes i have the feeling with this product so um, this is also for every kind of skin so if your skin is uh, sensitive or not much dry this product may work for you with combo skin it depends on your on your taste and on, and on your skin uh, with oily products i'm not really sure though it's not really the clogging it's just that it may not well being absorbed but it's not an oil based product anyway so um, oh, it doesn't feel so um the cool thing about this brand is that uh it, it has also some plantable uh packaging meaning packaging with uh, seeds now i don't know if it's the whole package to be easily biodegradable and then with some seeds or having just a sticker with seeds like uh it's happened with my eco tools uh brush set which had um a recycled uh cardboard sleeve and then a little stick on the back with some uh, seeds so this is a cool a cool concept for the brand also a cool brand but this product is not really for me and i'm really sorry just my skin not being really in love with uh runny gels i'm so sorry again it's just my skin being really really fussy this time especially with this box sorry about that again the first product is the marcel 3-in-1 micellar gel eye makeup remover so marcel never disappoints me so it's one of those brands that i discovered with birchbox and text to birchbox and i really like that as the name says this is an eye makeup remover but the peculiarity is that this is a micellar type of remover but in a gel texture This is the first uh, micellar remover as a gel, so um, I tried it as much as I could and I really liked how it works. It's very straightforward, you just need to squeeze a little bit of amount of this gel on a cotton pad, resting on your eye, keep it for a while and then swab it gently down. So um, it says that it's waterproof, so it removes waterproof makeup, it's soothing and the puffing. Now I can say that it's soothing because it really makes my eye feel comfortable after it never uh, dries it or make it red or make it my skin itchy at all. So it's very very gentle effect, it is also hypoallergenic. Uh, I couldn't say so much about the puffing effect because yes it's very very comfortable on my skin but I couldn't use that much because it's just a sample so I'd love to have a full size of this to see if it's really the, the puffing after you know um, you know long tiring days it happens at work uh, waterproof it removes very um, strong makeup for example it removes all your base concealer and uh, all kind of uh, eyeshadows um, it could be crayon it could be gel it could be powder it could be cream it removes that so the only problem is that mascara tends to stay for longer on your eyes and everything that sits on your lashes on, on your um, lash line so um, uh, i usually use this and then i remove what's left with something else i suggest to stay on the natural side of skincare and quite simple skincare just use olive oil it will remove everything that 
this eye makeup remover uh, is left on your on your eyes so i have to say this is a very very good product i wish for a bigger size because this sample is very very small but it was enough to understand that this works uh, for my my skin so i really really like this one and i really recommend this it was a good choice okay time for the last product this is the grace and stella lavender lotion so it's a lotion a very moisturizing one um, grace and stella said and it's also calming and it should also help you with the deep sleep so it will like relax so much that you have also a good sleep uh night sleep pattern so uh, being a, a lotion is very fluid it allows you to have also a good massage because it doesn't get absorbed quickly so you can still uh, relax yourself with a good massage really i like massaging it on my legs uh, and doing those kind of draining um, and detoxifying kind of movement so um this is a problem with lavender i don't know why on earth but my mind does not relax with lavender and the same with chamomile but the combination of both it strangely works but lavender on its own or chamomile on its own it doesn't I'm a weird person, you should know. But um, it's very, very pleasant, and the most pleasant thing is that it's so refreshing. I couldn't expect this. It's so refreshing that I think this is a good match for a summer body care. Um, it says that it's also uh, so moisturizing that its power is 12 hour long. I wouldn't say that because when I use it before going to sleep, the next morning, yes, my skin is hydrated but not as much but this is it could be because my skin has got some sort of condition so it's very very flaky and recently due to a stressful couple of months and especially this month unfortunately um i got a very strange uh, rash so i got very very itchy goosebumps so every time i was getting nervous they were like inflamed even more and they were so itchy and so my pharmacy said uh it happened this while in italy um said do not use any products just use baby wash and antihistaminics so i couldn't use anything for um, around three weeks and then i used this again and my skin was really too dry and i needed more uh, application of this so let's say uh night application so from uh, when you go to sleep to when you wake up it wouldn't give you so much hydration as much as you need if you have skin conditions or like temporary skin condition like this otherwise with normal skin it will maybe give you eight hour hydration i don't it depends also always on your skin but i can find it very very gentle and so refreshing that i would like to use right after when this condition is gone and i hope forever <laughs> but if you have normal skin this will be great and for summer is heaven so I kind of like this. I don't know, lavender is so weird for, to me, but it's kind of good. So let's wrap up this unboxing and review. Uh, I was wishing for something else for what concerned the topic. Like it was just the call that was suggesting me something else. It's so cool that it recalls uh, this product package. The color scheme, I mean, I usually tend not to get too many spoilers from Birchbox because I just want to pick my monthly product and then wait and get surprised so in this case uh, with the July box I've been surprised in the good and in the bad unfortunately so because not all the products work with my my skin unfortunately but it's more about skin condition and skin characteristics so, so for example due to my uh, skin pH um, any kind of um, scented balm or scented oils do not last that long so it's a pity I can't really use it it was intended to the scented uh, aromatherapy balm uh, the Capria um, products was a good brand discovery but as a product discovery was a good match with my skin um, Marcel hasn't disappointed me at this time so I'm really really happy with Marcel Grace and Stella could work better so let's see that uh, I see three products that I may use 
two for sure. These two short products are the Marcel makeup remover and the Lord and Berry uh, pencil. But this is a sample, so once it's finished, I have to buy it if I need it. But I really like it. Uh, the Lord and Berry is small but very versatile, and I like this brand. And when I talk about this, I'm going to talk about what's most important. Was this box a good value for money? Was it really honest uh, as a box? Well, I have to say that I see very valuable uh, products and a good um, choice. But you can't say that you have two full size products if they are not. In this case, you are going to give wrong information and you may be, you know, not punished of course but you may get complaint in fact this in the end is a full size product this is a 50 ml and it is like this on the brand website uh, the Lord and Berry pencil is not a 50 pound eye pencil this is a luxury as the brand calls travel size and uh, its um, value and its price online is 10 pounds so so it changed things because this aren't um, this uh, aren't full size product so it's one and a half <laughs> and uh, so it's also change how is the real value of the box so if, let's do some maths here right so this is such a pity because I really think uh, you're going you may lose trust from your customers or people that are new to Birch box now people that really loves you or keep staying with you but this is really really a bad mistake I really think also because it was really hard for me so I wasted time to understand what kind of pencil it was and uh, what had me was the, the name so I found the name the the, the number and I found out the, the so, so next time you have to be really careful you can't say that one product is a full size product if it's not so if it's like a travel size it's a travel size it's not a full size product so also because uh, the price changes so you just give bad information with bad information you may ruin your reputation if you repeat this um, mistake now for what concerns the, the box uh, the concept is always in line with what beach box does so it's always about self-care uh, so it's good but you know with a color scheme a color palette like that I was thinking more about a late summer a box and I really think it would have been a better match for this month uh, something summer proof for example um, heat proof uh, makeup um, sunlight proof um, air care or other skin care with uh, sun filters in fact this hasn't got any sun filters and in summer even more in summer you really really need it so I really think that this this box could have been way way better not in terms of product choice uh in terms of quality but for the topic of course because you know i know that my skin may react differently compared to other people for example to you but you know i really think this could have been done way way better i mean another topic for example or also you know a real full size product maybe so this is what I, what I really really think but you know you could have been done a little bit better but the product quality is good this saves you so but please next time be very careful on what you decide to write information must be always right especially the price and the type of product the name of the product what it does ingredient list and especially the price because otherwise it's going to erode people's trust and as a company you have always to get and that's all so I really hope you like this review sorry for being that long uh, it's not just my skin being so tricky but also myself being really really fussy but I have to give you an honest review that's that's really important to me so if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and leave a like uh, you have all the buttons, all the options here on. Then you can also find me on my website valentinakiriko.com with more in-depth reviews and uh, on Instagram at valentskiriko. You are always more than welcome to come and follow me and uh, we can be friends somehow on Instagram. So in the comment, uh, in the 
in the description box below you're going to find all the products that I've shown you today what I'm wearing oh, and kind of all sets with this um, with this t-shirt this is I don't know how many times I'm using it uh, I bought it from uh, from Italy so it was quite cheap but it's pretty cute it's a long shirt and also these earrings I was want <laughs> I wanted this since the the early 90s it was really big in the 80s but you uh, know to like them and you're going to find also where i found this in the description box so um, again thank you for watching thank you for your patience because i tend to speak too much maybe too fast not really currently but hey i'm doing my best with english so um, hope to see you soon until next time i wish you a wonderful new day bye